The Secret is the 13th episode of the second season of The Office. This is directed by Denny Gordon. And as always, there will be spoilers from now as I go through the episode and share some thoughts. And in general, I'd say it's a good episode. I don't think it's a funny episode, but I'd say it's definitely a very thought-provoking episode with some good moments. The main narrative I'll talk about in a moment, it was quite fascinating. The subplot with Dwight, for the most part, was really boring. But then something happened that I hadn't expected, and it, I kind of thought it was rather interesting. So I'll go through the subplot first, and then I'll talk about the main narrative. And Dwight is convinced that Oscar is out sick. He's phoned in. It's a Friday. How suspicious that he's out sick. Nobody could be sick on a Friday. And Dwight decides to investigate this. And I genuinely thought Dwight was going to be proven wrong. I thought we'd find out that actually Oscar was sick and Dwight was wrong for accusing him of lying. And it turns out that actually he wasn't sick. Dwight was rather inappropriate. He did go to Oscar's house and wait outside for him to arrive, which he did. He turned up with some skates and clearly he wasn't sick. But I hadn't expected it. I genuinely thought the lesson would be don't accuse somebody of faking because they probably are ill. Instead, the message was actually, yeah, he was faking it. So quite surprising. The main narrative or the main part of that narrative wasn't that interesting, but the outcome definitely was. The main story focuses on Jim. And at the beginning, Jim talks with Michael and tells him that the thing he told him on the booze cruise was told in confidence. It's not for anybody else to know. This is, of course, the fact that he had a crush on Pam. Jim is using past tense. I don't for one second think it's in the past. And Michael isn't going to tell anybody. He decides to cheer Jim up by taking him to Hooters. And when Jim gets back, he tries to claim that lunch on the expense report. And he confesses that it was a business lunch because Jim was feeling depressed and he did it to cheer him up so that his, his work performance would be better. And he kind of blurts out, he's in love with a girl he works with who's engaged. And Kelly happens to be standing right behind Jim when he said this and immediately said Pam's name out loud. And Pam is unaware of the fact that now everybody in the office is talking about this. And I think Jim did the right thing. And I can't work out if the scene was more moving or awkward when Jim took Pam to one side. And he didn't say this is now spreading around the office. But he told Pam that he told Michael he used to, a long time ago, have a crush on her. And... Michael being Michael, he thought that it would make more sense for Pam to find out from Jim. And I definitely think he did the right thing. Should he have warned Pam that this was now hot gossip in the office? I don't know. Maybe I feel like it would have been a kind thing to do so she didn't overhear it from anybody else. But maybe realising that Michael knew, she probably would have come to that conclusion anyway. And... Then things get a little bit more awkward because Pam is talking with Michael and Michael mentions that Jim said it on the booze cruise and it's not clear to Pam whether Michael means he only told him a few days ago on the booze cruise or however long ago it was or that he still had a crush on her those few days ago. And it's definitely up in the air with the way things are going to go. And honestly... I cannot wait to find out. I really cannot wait to find out what they do with this relationship, what they do with this story. I'm really rooting for them. I really want them to get together. Normally, when it comes to romances and sitcoms, I do not care, friends aside. But other than that, I don't care. I think as soon as two of the main characters get together, everything revolves around them and it just becomes monotonous and I don't care. As I said, friends is an exception. Also, Sam and Diane's an exception. Okay, so sometimes I don't like it, but I feel like with The Office, it's something I would enjoy. It's something I'm looking forward to hopefully happening. I hope things don't get awkward between them because I like the interaction between Pam and Jim. So fingers crossed things go in the right direction. Definitely not a funny episode, but definitely an interesting one. The Secret is not a bad episode of The Office.